Hello and welcome back to another LNER 377 video and today we have another garage update video um, it doesn't seem to, um, the track layout doesn't seem to have changed but um, we're starting to get on the key building blocks of building a model railway now so we've had all the track planned out as you can see um, and now we're starting to come up some, with some ideas of scenery and things but before we do that, we've got to finish this corking off. As you can see, we have now got, um, I think it's the 1 8th thickness cork there. And that's a 5mm gap at each side. Um, as you can see, it stretches pretty much most of the main line. So it just carries on down here. And then just stops here because um, we're waiting for another roll to come. And then it re carries on just here. And then it carries on all the way down here. Um, past the TMD. Carrying along. And then down. Well, you can't really see down there because it's such a small gap. But anyway, carries on down there. Um, we've got to get the cable that runs underneath the tracks, under the board, that occasionally solders onto it. So that's what we've got to do next. Also, we've got to do all of this corking, all of that corking, all of, all of the sidings pretty much. Got to be corked got to build a new station to fit um, to fit like that and then another one to fit like that that goes down to there um, so we've got all the buildings there for that for the steam engine like shed steam shed that's it um, and you may be wondering what these tunnels are for well, we're going to build a new wood structure, pretty much that goes around there. And then get the scale scenes retaining walls, which are made of card, and put them around there. Also, the the scale scenes card um, retaining walls will go all the way down there to that piece of brick there. Um, and on top of here, we're going to, so obviously the the wall will come back to there and then go around there um, and we're going to have like a town scene so we're going to have that station building I think which is going to go there and then steps down to the platforms we might have some shops around there and some terrace houses back there um, so that's pretty much it and we've got our first bit of ballasted track just been testing it out so we use the um, the Woodland Scenics I think it's medium grey blend so it's sort of a mixture of white and a grey sort of stuff and as you can see it's quite a bit thick it looks really good the first time we did this um, the glue wasn't really setting but we used a stronger PVA glue and it's definitely done the trick. So when the um, wire is underneath, we're going to do the whole thing. Um, and that should be it. And also, this won't be here soon. Well, it'll probably be a few months. Because we're, I might be getting the scale scenes, like the cardboard one that you have to make. It's a really nice TMT. And it sort of matches that, so it'll go good. Um, yeah. I'm also going to, like, concrete inside of, like, a concrete thing for where the diesel stand. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, there's just a few um, additions to the layout. We've got some vehicles over here. Got some really nice little cars so we have um, 
Some little cars, we have a Rover P4, much like the one that's out on the front of my drive. Um, a little Ford Sierra, here, that's really nice. Um, this one doesn't say what it is, but I think it's like, it's a Ford, it's definitely a Ford. Um, I'm not sure what it is. So if you know, comment down below in the description if you know what it is. So yeah. There's some cars that I've bought. Um, and that should wrap this video up. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoyed the day. Because it's a very sunny day. Probably the warmest. I think it's the warmest September in like God knows how many years. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.